So after that whole loan thing fell apart and I just kept on trucking, even though that farm would essentially locate me for hauling from Mankato to Northeast Minneapolis twice a day, five days a week with this rig hauling 28 ton of soy meal for uh, transfer into shipping containers, which that was really good money. I was clearing two grand a week real fast, but that only lasted 2018. Because that's when the market was so hot for it. There was a high demand because of the trade war and suppressed the market. So they were shipping out like crazy because it was cheap. And I was getting paid good money. And fuel was coming down in price. I was getting it a lot cheaper than a lot of other guys thanks to a very great co-op that I've been a member of now. Actually, just uptown from the farm I was trying to buy. So... And I still buy a lot of fuel from that company when I need the fuel. So those of you that do know the farm that I was working on bidding and that was the highest bidder on, I have that blacked out. But this is exactly what I gave the loan officers because not only was I working with the farm credit guy, but I was working with three other lenders too. They all got the same paperwork to work with. But a lot of them, their risk management stopped it. They like, well, the farm credit network, they should pick up where uh, these other guys leave off. That's their federal contract and access the bonds so he says yeah this presents really nice that i had everything all done all my previous work but they just dropped the ball completely so of course it took almost two years to get somebody to actually investigate this and uh i blacked out the company so they can keep you guys can figure it out for yourselves of who was at fault here but they definitely Violated some laws, uh, regulatory statute that was violated, and another statute. So there's two violations that they found. So, of course, upon receiving this, the main company sent me a really nasty email that they did not make these violations, which obviously their bosses say different. So, and a lot of people don't like that. If you're new to the background of this stuff, that they have to hold to it. So yes, I come out of 2018 in a very good shape. You know, I have acquired a lot of my own equipment after the fact to keep on my own and not rely on hiring people anymore. To, and also keeps my cost down of operating the farm and keep it in my pocket as much as possible as a business should be. And also then has also led me into building a truck like this one. So. There's a lot of untapped because my dad's shed's too small and that other shop was too small too.